Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010, Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, we are looking at practice test O2C. That's the third practice test for chapter two on distributions. It's a five question uh, practice test. And here's the first question. What is the frequency of four in the following data set? And the answers are 0 0.20, 3, 4.00, or five. The answer to this one is three, because the value or score of four occurs three times. Um, the 0 0.20 you might get if you divide how often it occurs by the total number of things. That's a relative frequency. That's not what we want. 4.00 is the actual value itself, not its frequency, but the score. Don't want that. Five is the maximum value. Um, anyhow, so three, because the score or value of three occurs three times in this data set. Number two, a frequency bar graph would be most appropriate for which measurement scales? The choices are nominal or ordinal, ordinal or ratio, nominal or interval, or interval or ratio. The answer to this one for a bar graph is nominal or ordinal. Those are the categorical levels of measurement. And you would use a bar graph because um, you can't specify how far apart they are. And for nominal, the order is completely arbitrary. You could switch them around however you want. But you separate them because you can't specify how far apart exactly each one of them uh, is from the other ones. And so that's why you would use a bar graph, a frequency bar graph. Uh, ordinal, you would use a bar graph. Ratio or interval, you would use a histogram um, or a box plot because those are good for quantitative measurements. All right, number three. This distribution is, the choices are normal, negatively skewed, positively skewed, or U-shaped. This distribution is positively skewed. Uh, and that's because it has some unusual scores that are that are farther further away from the uh, rest than others are, and they're on the high end. They're on the right side. So you can call this skewed right. You can also call it positively skewed. And um, I've mentioned this before about this particular chart, but those gaps that you see uh, throughout it, I'm willing to bet are really artifacts of the bin size. And if you change the bins to make them a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, I'm willing to bet that those gaps would go away and be a smoother distribution. I would have done that. These people didn't. Anyhow, this is a positively skewed distribution. Number four, which of these distributions is mesocurtic? Okay, you have to choose A, B, C, or none of them. Well, in this case, the answer is A. Uh, a is a normal distribution. It's a bell curve, and that is mesocurtic. Remember, meso here means middle, and bulge is, so it's a middle-sized bulge, uh, not to be confused with the one uh, B that's right next to it, which is leptocurtic, which is a narrow bulge, or C, which is platocurtic, which is a flat bulge. Uh, the normal distribution, A, is mesocurtic. In fact, if you were to get a uh, if you were to calculate the value of kurtosis for it, its value would be zero whereas the other ones are positive or negative, but um, mesocurtic has a value of kurtosis for zero, and it's true for normal distributions. Uh, just as a quick reminder, some people get confused, and they think, uh, when they read meso, they think mesa, like a flat plateau, and then they, so they choose the platocurtic one. That's not correct. It's meso, like mesoamerica, or mesomorph, and it means middle. Number five, the normal distribution is, and then you can choose bimodal, mesocurtic, negatively skewed, or uniform. Well, as we saw just a second ago, the normal distribution is in fact B, mesocurtic. It has a middle bulge. It's the moderate level between the tall and pointier, the flat and um, one. Uh, it's not bimodal because it has one mode, it's unimodal. Um, it's not negatively skewed because it's symmetrical and it's not uniform, uniform is totally flat. Um, a normal distribution is mesocurtic. Um, of these four choices, that's the one that's appropriate. And that is it for uh, the practice test for chapter two. Thanks for listening.